Welcome to Moto Focus, where we explore machines that shape the future, on two wheels and beyond. Today, we're shifting gears from motorcycles to aerospace, diving into one of India's most ambitious defense projects, the 2025 Haltagis MK2. As India pushes toward self-reliance in defense, the MK2 is more than just a successor to the Tejas MK1, it's a significant leap in capability, design, and technology. With first flight trials nearing and production timelines in sight, the MK2 is set to change the dynamics of India's air power. Evolution from Tejas MK1 The Tejas MK2 isn't just an upgrade, it's practically a new aircraft. While it inherits the Delta Wing DNA of the MK1, the MK2 features a canard delta layout for improved agility and maneuverability. With an extended fuselage, increased payload capacity, and enhanced range, the MK2 fills a crucial capability gap between light and medium fighter classes. HAL and ADA have designed it to replace aging aircraft like the Mirage, 2000, Jaguar, and MiG-29 in the Indian Air Force's inventory, positioning it as a powerful 4.5-generation multi-role fighter. Power Plant and Performance the heart of the Tejas MK2 is the GE F414 IN20 engine, delivering 98 knots of thrust, giving it significantly more power than the MK1's F404 engine. This allows the MK2 to carry heavier weapons, extend mission durations, and improve combat survivability. With a top speed exceeding Mach 1.8, a combat radius of over 1,000 kilometers, and mid-air refueling capability, the MK-2 is built for long-range, multi-theater operations. It supports a wide range of armaments, from precision-guided bombs to Astra Beyond Visual Range missiles and BrahMos NG in future variants. Avionics and Cockpit The Tejas MK-2 features a glass cockpit with fully digital fly-by-wire controls, wide-area multifunction displays, and an indigenous mission computer. It integrates advanced sensors like AESA radar, UTOM, and IRST, infrared search and track, systems for enhanced situational awareness. The aircraft will also be equipped with electronic warfare suites, self-protection jammers, and radar warning receivers, giving it strong survivability in contested airspace. It also supports network-centric operations, allowing seamless integration with other platforms like AWACS and UAVs. Strategic Importance For India, the Tejas MK2 is more than a fighter, it's a statement of self-reliance. With over 70% indigenous content and growing involvement from private sector suppliers, it supports the Atmanurbar Bharat initiative. The MK2 is designed with future scalability in mind, including modular architecture for easier upgrades and potential naval variants. The IAF has shown strong interest, with an estimated requirement of over 120 units, giving HAL a stable production roadmap well into the 2030s. Challenges and Timelines Despite the promise, the Tejas MK2 has hurdles to overcome. Timeline slippages, dependency on foreign engine components, and integration complexities remain. 